Hello students, let's begin with this question. So here this reaction is given and some values are provided. So here the delta H for this reaction is given which is equals to minus 439 kilojoule. Then the delta S is given which is equals to minus 1086 joule per Kelvin. In this question we have to find out the delta G. So here the temperature is given which is equals to this is equals to 131 degree celsius which is equals to 131 plus 273 to convert this into kelvin which is equals to 404 kelvin now here this is in kilojoule and this is in joule so here 1 joule is equals to 0 0.001 kilojoule so here this comes to be 1.086 kilojoule per kelvin so here the formula used is delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s so now substituting the values over here so delta h is minus 439 kilojoule minus 404 kelvin into delta s is 1.086 kilojoule per kelvin so when we solve this we get here the delta g value which comes to be minus 0 0.256 kilojoule so here this delta g is negative here so this reaction is spontaneous now here in the next part here for this reaction the delta H value is equals to minus 484 kilojoule and delta G is equals to minus 37 kilojoule and here we have to find out the delta S value so here the temperature is same that is equals to 404 Kelvin now here formula used is same so here substituting the value so delta G is equals to delta H minus T delta S so this delta G is minus 37 kilojoule is equals to delta H is minus 484 minus 404 Kelvin this is in kilojoule into delta S so here when we solve this we get here the delta S value so here this delta S is equals to minus 1.1064 kilojoule per kelvin and in terms of joule this is equals to minus 1064 joule per kelvin so here in this reaction the delta g is negative here so the reaction is spontaneous i hope this video is useful for you to understand this problem thank you